Hey guys, it's Yam and welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm here to make another video again before I hit the stack and it's about 22 things I learned before turning 22. Before I proceed with the video, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it so you will be notified whenever I upload a new one. And don't worry about this one guys because it's a big pimple and I don't know if I'm in love or out of love or the surrounding is just polluted but yeah i just hope it goes away before my big day comes i look like i kind of have a wound or something right here but no it's a big pimple and it's only one pimple so yeah i hope you don't get distracted by this and also don't mind my sunburn this was the effect that I got when we went to Kulipapa without putting on any sunblock. It's a very big no-no guys. Forget everything except putting on some sunblock on your face. 22 things I learned before turning 22. The first one would be not everyone is going to stay and it's okay. In general, not everyone or everything is meant to stay in our lives. People are temporary, that's why it's important to cherish their good and bad sides because it won't be forever. We may just be a pit stop for some people, not a destination, and I'm here to say thank you for stopping by. Also, I don't use pimple patches to hide them. I just let them heal on its own. Number two would be we shouldn't rush things. If I'm still a kid, if I could go back in time, I'll fully enjoy everything. Don't get me wrong, guys, okay? I did enjoy my childhood. I had a good childhood. I played outside the house with my friends under the heat of the sun and so on and so forth. We used to think that being a grown-up is fun and nice and everything that comes with it. But wait till you become a young adult. So please enjoy where you are in your life right now and make the most out of it. Number three, don't trust people easily. If you think you know that person very well, you don't. And if you think you know me that much, you don't. We have to always remember that we only know someone based on what they show or let us experience. We really don't know what's going on in people's lives, so please be kind. Number four would be we have to keep going. Life is a learning playground and no matter how hard and tough things may be, especially when we hit rock bottom, we have to keep going. Life is beautiful. Make sure you're there to see it. Number five, sometimes love is in letting go. This one's a general statement and could be applied to a lot of things. It depends on how you take it. But I see it as letting go of things, people, experiences that are not meant for me. Acceptance is the key and we need to practice it from time to time. Number six, take care of yourself. Because I believe that when you do this, it is an instant mood changer. You take care of yourself by doing some exercise for your body so that you would feel good. You change your self-care routine or skincare routine. Especially right now that I have one big pimple and it's red. I cannot conceal it right now. I'm about to slip it. I'm just doing this video. Ah. I'm barefaced again. Anyway, when we take care of ourselves, this fuels us to do good things in life, to be productive, to be progressive, and to be passionate about the things that we do every single day. Number seven would be don't be afraid to show your emotions, but know how to control them and don't let it control you. It's important not to keep our feelings in a glass jar. Share it to a trusted friend at least and have a shoulder to cry on. Just remember that you are not alone in this world. 
you don't own all of the problems in this world so seek help if you need to and yeah do all of the things that you know would help yourself and the current situation you are in right now number eight have daily affirmations to kickstart your day reading motivational quotes would be one of them i do this a lot and all the time because it really helps me to be motivated with the things that i want to achieve all throughout the day and try this one too maybe it would help you be productive and motivated number nine develop a habit a new one and make sure it's a good one okay and they say that it takes 28 days to form a new habit choose or pick at least one habit and challenge yourself who knows you might achieve it then good for you once you're used to doing this at least you'll be thankful for yourself that you have improved for the better my gosh number 10 don't be afraid to say no a no is a no and i think this one's really important because a lot of us and most of us are afraid to say no i'm guilty about that because even myself i'm afraid to say no i'm afraid i might hurt other people and their feelings i know how it feels to be rejected but on the other side of the spectrum we have to learn to say no and stick to our decision we should stand up for ourselves and be unapologetic about it if you're uncomfortable say no if you're not feeling yourself or if you're not feeling well if you want to cancel any plan if you don't feel like going somewhere say no i don't want to go i just want to take a rest just say no focus on yourself and what you need the right people will understand our emotions you don't have to feel sorry for saying no number 11 you are not everyone's cup of tea and as cliche as it sounds we are not perfect and we just can't please everyone whether you do all the right or wrong things other people even those who are close to you will always have something to say so just do whatever the hell makes you happy as long as you are not hurting anyone number 12 celebrate little milestones or victories i reward myself with milk tea or sweets i eat sweets or chocolates whenever i'm able to achieve my small short-term goals and in order for me to satisfy myself then i must work hard for it before i could attain it it's called delayed gratification work 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 grind 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 before i reward myself with something that i want to eat or i want to have you know our wants delayed gratification guys number 13 make new friends i miss my Silliman friends my tagamindanao friends and my dumagada friends how are you all i miss you all i hope you all are doing great every day this one's one of the most awesome feelings in the world because I always want to make new friends that would turn into family. It's also nice to rekindle old connections. But we always have to remember that we should at least choose our friends because in one way or another, they represent us. And in the long run, they influence us. Number 14, don't be afraid to fall and try again. It makes the journey even more worthwhile when we're able to appreciate the highs and lows that are happening in our lives. Number 15, take risks. A lot of risks. This one's kind of connected with number 14, but yes, make a lot of mistakes as much as possible while you're young. But I didn't mean that you should do it intentionally, but if you know, you know. Number 16, learn from the mistakes of others so you don't have to go through it on your own. This could be one of the wisest 
moves out there a certain person could make. We don't have to experience what other people had experienced. We all have different journeys, each one of us. That's why if given the chance to do something right the first time, then just do it. Your future self will thank you for that and you will have no regrets. Number 17, do not share your life to the public. And what I mean about this is social media. Personally, I'm a bit guilty about this one because I'm always on Instagram sharing stories about how my day went or sometimes I'm on Facebook sharing memes and all that stuff. But let me remind you that not everyone has to know everything that's going on in your lives every day. Sometimes it's really way better to keep things in private and celebrate your little milestones or victories in your own way. Number 18, the goal in this life is to have financial freedom. With that being said, be financially free. And if you haven't read Rich Dad Poor Dad yet, then this is the perfect sign that you've been waiting for. And if it won't change your perspective about things and about life in general, then I don't know what will. But since you're seeing this sign right now, then guys, go ahead and read that book. It's a life-changing book. Thank me later. <laughs> I don't know how to read. <laughs> Number 19, spend more and more time with your loved ones as much as possible. It's payback time and we have to always remember that our family, our parents deserve the world. And we should strive to give them the best life that they deserve. Time is running. Make it count. Also, don't be afraid to tell the people you love that you love them. I'm guilty about this one because I'd rather show someone that I care for them and that I love them than just plainly throwing those words out in the air just because they want to hear it. So, actions versus words. I can do both, but I'm more of a showy kind of person. Number 20, we only live once. Learn a lot of new things as much as possible. Read books, cultivate a new hobby or a new skill. Bask in the sun, fall in love and get hurt and fall in love again. You know what I mean? Just live. Number 21, be independent. Be your own best friend. Even if it means learning a new skill in order to survive this harsh world, do it. Being alone is okay and you don't have to surround yourself with a lot of people all the time. Enjoy your solitude and your youth. Embrace all of the things that are happening right now because these are our unique experiences that would help us shape and be the person that we would be in the future last but not least number 22 be grateful for the small things and the big ones and everything in between for waking up to a brand new morning to a brand new day filled with hope for the heartaches and heartbreaks that made us a lot wiser for the friends and foes that turned into family for the good and bad stuff because one cannot exist without the other for the pain and laughter, for the gift of love and for loving others, for having a heart to accept the things that we cannot change. Just be grateful that you're right here, right now, surviving despite it all and for overcoming tough times. There are a billion things to be thankful for and to be grateful for each and every single day and you being right here right now is one of those i'm thankful that you are here because you matter and that's all for today's video guys i hope you learned a thing or two from me and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button comment down below your thoughts share this to your friends and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it so you will be notified for more videos from me
oh my god this would be the last day of being a 21 year old girl so i'm closing this chapter now and bye guys see you on my 22nd birthday i'll be sharing it to another vlog another video and yes watch out for that bye i hope this heals i'm only putting aloe vera moisturizer on my face only aloe vera and this pimple i don't know i hope it goes away bye again